Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. A question in from Riddell Raha. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, hi, I'm a big fan of your videos on your YouTube channel. They are great content. I'm a hobbyist photographer and I shoot on a Nikon D5200. I'm looking for an ultra wide angle lens. I have shortlisted two of them, the Tokina 11-16 F2.8 uh, ATX 11.6. Pro DX2 and the Sigma 10 to 20 F35 EX DC HS M ELD SLD A spherical. These lenses are getting so long in the nomenclature. Few of my photographer friends have recommended the Sigma, but I want your expert advice on which one would be a better choice considering a similar price range. Also, if you have some other options, do let me know. Awaiting your reply. Thanks, Riddell. Well, um, both, I think, good lenses. I haven't had the opportunity to shoot the Tokina 11-16 to yet. I have heard very good things about it, read very good reviews about it. The Sigma 10-20 is a, is a good standard lens. I would give you another choice is what I would recommend. The Sigma 8-16mm. to millimeter. I've owned that, shot it, love it. Very, very nice lens, and it's wider than both of these. It's wider than the Tokina by three millimeters. It's wider than the Sigma by two. That might not sound like a lot, but when you're already that wide, extra two millimeters is a lot. The eight to sixteen practically can see around you, can wrap around you as far as um, what it can see, how wide it is. It's insane how wide eight millimeters is, even on an APS-C body. Um, so my recommendation, my favorite lens for an ultra wide is the Sony 8 to 16 mil, or Sony, the Sigma 8 to 16 millimeter. Both of the other ones are, are good. The Sigma 10 to 20, I've shot with it. It's decent. I don't think it's as quite as good as the 8 to 16 quality wise for the image, uh, but I think it's still very good. Uh, the Tokina 11 to 16 millimeter, uh, from everything I've heard is very good. And granted, it's a little faster. I typically on a wide angle don't need the little bit of extra speed there. We're talking 2.8 versus 3.5. It's not really a big deal. It doesn't mean anything to me on wide angle. I'm not usually shooting a wide angle in really, really dim lighting situations. And more often than not, a wide angle is often on a tripod too. So great equalizer there. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think you would go with the Sigma 8 to 16 like I would? Would you go with the Dokina or the Sigma 10 to 20? Uh, the other two... Um, possibilities here or do you have another uh, possibility for Riddell to, to uh, check out that you would uh, suggest or recommend leave a comment in the uh, comments below let's discuss it ultra wide angles for a Nikon and um, let us know what you think thanks for tuning in folks thanks for tuning in folks thanks for your question Riddell stay tuned we'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com